I might be getting burned out from watching all of these. All you've done all of them, all, this, all every season, right? I've done point, them all. You've done them. That's insane. Also, I wanted to know: Do you want to do this all off of top of memory, or do we want to do this like we'll we'll watch it and then we'll we'll talk about it? I feel like I'm gonna need to watch it. Okay, that's fine. I can share my screen. Go, go, Okay. Yeah. So what do you think what do you think of the song? Like we'll rank it on the song and then we'll rank it on the visuals as well. I feel like my orphans just thought like the baseline. Yeah. I mean like I feel like it should be like A. Yeah. That's only because it's the baseline. Everything after it should live up to that. Although I will say the visuals obviously aren't like super striking. What's your favorite version of the Mighty Morphin opening? Oh, oh. Season one baseline it sort of yeah. defined what openings for power Rangers were gonna be because like, it could have just been like just the title card yeah it could have been like the title and then, card and then like action stuff because like what openings are supposed to do is just for kids when you're channel surfing it's supposed to catch your eye yeah and i feel so, like season one's is good because it has like the introduction to everything because yes. it has like the whole rita coming out of the dumpster Zordon saying like, hey, this is what we got to do. But then after that, it's really simple. Yeah, it's like, here is every character's little quirk. Yeah. Here is their face. And I then feel like season makeup. two's is a little bit better. I like it, the flashing between yes. all, of, all of the footage. And then I honestly like how they block out the cast now. Yeah, I like how it slides mm, in and out. Yeah, it's the face, it's the suit, it's the actor actually doing the fight. And then it's the Zord. Yeah. Which if you're like new to the show, you didn't get any of that from the original opening. And like, I feel like season two, like made like all subsequent o openings like it, except for season three, because season three was dumb. Season three. <laughs> what was wrong with season three? All right. Season three is, is starts out with all the flashes. But yes, they, they just do the solo guys. I mean, the solo guys are very like teen drama. Like. Right. It's, <laughs> it's like... It's like, I'm, by, I'm like watching by the lake Dawson's with Creek the nice over flowers. here. Especially like Rockies. Yeah, there's zero action. Look at this. It's mostly like, just Zord footage. I like season three, how the beginning, like the intro, the build up, it evolves yes. with the series though. And it gives, I like it when, this is going to sound really pretentious. I like it when an opening tells a story. I 100% understand you on that. And I agree. Like when we get to Ninja Steel, like I don't like Ninja Steel, but their opening, the beginning bit tells a very good story the cast credits suck <laughs> it has a lot to do with probably they want they were making the intro for us and before they even like remotely filmed anything for the action stuff because if i'm not mistaken they filmed that stuff mostly last i wonder if the clothes they're wearing correspond to any episode because the ones in season two they do correspond to certain episodes uh, that'll be in that that'll be the next thing once you've gone through every opening it's going to be like what time <laughs> period were each episode filmed in we're going to find out the exact day that these were filmed yes <laughs> oh okay so it doesn't have alien in here but alien rangers is basically the same okay you yeah. know what pisses me off about the alien ranger ones is that the what? alien rangers aren't credited it, it, it which I, I get it because they're not really characters Right. Most of them. But also, I don't like how they have, like, they couldn't have just done Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers for the entire song. It eventually goes back yeah. to <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And also, I get it. Like, you can't really credit the Alien Rangers when you're also crediting the older actors and the younger actors. There's like 20 people credited at that point. Yeah, that's not true. They also had to do the younger actors, too. That's right. Yeah, there's just so many names otherwise. Honestly, you split screen it. Split screen it. You could have done it. I mean, that's what I did with mine. Yeah, it's messed up that you can't do that. Y'all, the, like, the cast doesn't appear throughout, like, half the show. Like, Do you think it was some, you, like, like, TV thing that they had to put the current cast in it? It might have been. They probably were just like, we don't want to lose you guys. Like, we just lost three of them. We don't want to lose another three. Or, yeah, no, like, like, we don't want to lose all of you guys. Hollywood is really weird with crediting and yeah, there's a lot going on which I don't really know about. Yeah, and especially with a non-union show. Yeah. If I were to rank the three Mighty Morphin seasons by themselves, I'd probably go season two's A, season one's B, season three might also might honestly be C for me. Is it just because of the cast credits? 
it's honestly just because of the cast credits <laughs> and the fact that there's no there's zero action in the yeah. intro other than the zords coming together i yeah. do like the the visual like the physical yes. shot of them looking at the camera it's a good yes. it's very pretty it's a pretty shot with the lake in the background glistening oh, the sunlight. but does it do power rangers maybe not yeah they they're very pretty shots <clears throat> for a kid's show that has nothing to do with aesthetically pleasing shots of the actors. It is a very is a very good. They're very good shots that they use. It's wild because the rest of the show doesn't look like this, right? <laughs> the rest of the show. They, when are they ever backlit? Oh my god, they are. They're That's just beautiful. like completely backlit, <laughs> and it's wild. And you can also kind of tell who who got shot first. One hundred percent. You you okay? So oh, wait, I was, what? So, okay, so watch the credits. Okay, Catherine Sutherland, sh- backlit. Dave Yost, backlit. John Young Bosch, backlit. Karen Ashley, not Nothing. backlit. In the shade. Steve Cardenas, not backlit. And it's not even that they're in the shade, it's just they're not backlit. But, oh, Jason David Frank, backlit. And honestly, I'm offended that he gets a, a zoom in and no one else does. <laughs> no. You can see who's favorite what here. What I think probably happened was they probably filmed Jason David Frank first. Then they film David Yost, Captain Sutherland. And then they just like, we're just like, you, the, the other three get like, <laughs> we'll get you when we get you. And then like the sun probably like got, it was probably got overcast. And they were like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Let's move on. <laughs> Song's killer. Song's probably even better than Mighty Morphin. Absolutely. But the Not visuals, but the visuals suffer. See, like the again, like for me, the song is amazing, and I think that's what they were hoping for because the cast credits are boring. They, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is a laser into a shape, and then the, uh, I love the, the laser shapes. They're my favorite. Yes, I think the shapes are good, but it, it's just the cast member. And then yeah. it flashes to them doing the roll call. I I feel like like the last frame of a cast credit should be like should be the cast member. I feel like really? in their in their prime. Mm-hmm. I feel like we shouldn't be. I mean, this is just me and my yeah neuroses with it. I just I don't like cutting to just their range of form. Yeah, so the last visual of the credit is not even the cast member. Would you rather it be reversed or, or like? It's the same, like, you see them both at the same time. Either see them both at the same time or the reverse, I think. I understand it from, like, the company side. They're like, okay, we want to credit the cast member, but we also have to show the kids. This is this person. And I guess it's the mindset of, like, here is the cast member, and then they transform into, and you see the ranger. Right. And, like, that feels how, weird. Like, like, if you take a screenshot, it's the yellow ranger with Nakia Barista's Tanya written underneath it. Right. So where would you put Zio? I think on the same level as my Morphin. Yeah, honestly. I think it, might... it redeems itself after the cast credits. I right. like the rest of it where it's got like yeah. the Rangers doing their attack Megazord. Attack Megazord. I like that sequence. Yeah, I like the the fast cuts between the two. And like it's not it's not too much to where your eyes get lost. We'll get we'll get there. Yeah, that that because that, that happens a lot now. <laughs> Lieutenant Stone's credit is so long. Yeah, why is it so long? Like, he stands, like, straight, then he does a salute. Like, we just need to salute, I think. He, ju- he should have just been credited with Balkan Skull. Yeah, the three of them. Or, yeah, either, like, he goes with Balkan Skull or he doesn't deserve one. Like, for real. Yeah. Like, did fucking Ernie get a credit in power? That's probably why he left. He's like, I'm in if every anything. episode and I don't get a credit in the book. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. If anything, he should have been credited earlier on and right. lost his credit as time went on. Okay, so from what I remember, and I might just pull it up, I liked the original one significantly more. Oh, um, interesting. Than the revised version. Because I think the turbo theme is actually pretty cool. The turbo theme is incredible. Yes. This is what I love. This is it. Oh, that's yeah, no, it. this is that's, that's it. Yeah. That's the only, <laughs> like, that's really it. Because they don't have it in the, the other version. And, like, that's all, that's all it needs. Honestly, like, forget about the show. The theme is Cars. Yeah, no, that's it's totally perfect fine. opening. And then it's yeah. ruined by these cast credits, which are ugly as sin. Yeah, like, the Megazord sequence, not only do we see it later, 
But it's behind the actors? Oh yeah, I didn't even realize we saw it essentially twice. I think it's like maybe three seconds too short, because again, there's no action. The song's good. Yeah, I don't like the black and white Vords in the background. Like, yeah. I don't understand what's going on. I don't I'm not a big like... fan of the, the suit just like kind of sliding in. I would rather the suit be just there already. Yeah. Or you know what would be kind of cool that we've never seen before? Suit actor and actor next to each other. Ah, like um, like Sentai does all the time. Yeah. Then back to back. Exactly. I will say, however, I do like how the suit actors are, you can clearly tell it's American footage and they're shot in the same location. Yes. That's that nice. sometimes bugs me when like you can clearly tell, especially with like Mighty Morphin, and it's not entirely their fault, that the footage is significantly more grainy. And especially with Turbo, their, their Fentai footage, I don't know what they did to those yeah. masters when they got them, but they just stood on the, they were through so the window. Like, <laughs> but, well, <laughs> okay, so Toei is a notorious for not keeping things well preserved. So Turbo, I don't think it's better than Zio no. at all, but I don't know if I'm willing to put it at B still also. It's difficult because I don't know where, because the second version to me, I suppose they even each other out. Yeah, they're I like both the intro of the first one. Right. I like the cast credits of the second one. And I do like how the turbo openers as well. They had like eight different versions and they just had right. so many different clips they could cycle in and out. And I like that. But it's not one of the rankings we've got. We've got A, uh, F, A, B, C, D. Yeah. Hmm. And then I might add an F because there, there's there's a couple <laughs> that might just be singers. Oh I can't wait. And and people aren't gonna like my aren't gonna like <laughs> what I say about it. Where would you rank it? Honestly, I might I might put it in C because it's like it's fine, but there's things that are better than it, but there's things that are way worse about it. I could I could go with a C. Let's go C for now. If if we change our mind, we'll just switch it over. I feel like I could have gone with a B, but honestly, I can't forgive this the cast credits for the first half. Because like they are Ugly. There's also there's no movement. There's yes. points where Tanya is just stood there smiling. There's not even like a, a turn. Yeah, there's nothing. It just cuts to her grinning. How long was she stood there? <laughs> like how long were they filming her for? Right. She looks like she wants to kill someone. Like where was the turn? Like did All she right. think they were taking a photo? Right, like, exactly. What, what are they making these four actors do? Like, right. <laughs> did she think it was like press photo day? Yeah. Honestly, no in the production. They probably didn't really explain anything. They were yeah. just like, oh, can you just stand against this wall before you go to lunch? That was awesome. That was 100% awesome. Incredible. <laughs> like, okay, and we didn't talk about this for any of the other ones, and I feel like it is most apparent in, in, in space. Sound design in the opening. Yes. So great. Like, is this how... the first one we've got sound effects? No, we've had sound effects, but like, this is the first one that was like fully sound designed. Cause like, you hear yeah. like the beeps when like the text scrolls in for the actor credits. Every ounce of footage is sound designed. And I, um, I really noticed then. So, like, yeah. you have the zoom in of the cast. And then when you go right. to them, like, lift up their weapon, it's like a little. Yeah, and then, like, there's the sound of motion when anything, like, flies by. And this is how you make, like, credits with just a cast member in it. Like, the sound effects with the text scrolling in. Like, that's important. Like, that makes it interesting. Oh, I love, yeah, I love the... It, it's got to go in S tier. Like, there's Absolutely. no way about it. Like, it, And again, I love how the first opening of In Space doesn't have Andros in it. And it has Diva Talks as the villain. Yeah, I think more series need to either do that or just give it a title card for the first episode. Yes, there definitely should only be title cards for like the first two episodes at the very least. But I, I get it, like kids show they want the theme song. Or or they could but, do the yeah. anime route where they put the opening at the end. Yes. And do the whole opening and end credits at the end. All right, here we go. Let's go Lost Galaxy. We're going significantly da more downhill. What? <laughs> Okay, you know what? I was wrong. I was 100% wrong. <laughs> um, but I will say it's not as good as In Space, but it did a lot that In Space did. And it might have just been my own bias towards this show, the series, because like I don't think I had a lot of fun watching Lost Galaxy. I feel like every time I think about Lost Galaxy, I've got a different opinion. It's really difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. I remember enjoying it a lot when I was a child. And then I watch it, I'm like, oh, this is bad. And I think about it, I'm like, this is bad, because, I mean, there's a lot of production problems, from what we can tell. But then right. also, I still enjoy it sometimes. 
And the finale is incredible. The finale is absolutely wonderful. The team I, up is great. Yes, the team up's amazing. I, Man, I I don't want to put it in S, but I think it might be. I feel like the cast credits are dangerously close to being soap opera. Yes, they're almost they're too similar to In Space, and the reason I think In Space works better, I think honestly because they were lit better. You know who is completely fucking shafted is Corone. Yeah, 100%. her cast credit is awful. Why is she just stood in the kitchen? Right. They could have put her in any environment to make her have an exciting, or well, not an exciting, just something right to look at and she's just by a cupboard i think <laughs> i think you might be right about like the needing to put the original cast contractually in the opening because even yeah, when so one is there original pink is also just there i don't know how true this is i heard that they had to keep kendrick's in there so they could pay valerie extra money right to help with their medical bills and i'm like that's nice and i'm like that's that makes sense, I guess. I don't know yeah. how true that is. But just put Corona somewhere else. Right. Just put her next to her. Just yeah. put her next to her in the in the not like actually physically next to her, but like put her <laughs> like ne- put her next in the credits. Yeah. And um, I don't know where she could be, by some cave. Is that episode where she's in a cave? They could have filmed the credit there. Yeah. Something or on Onyx, she could have been by the tavern in her credit. Right. Because I also I really would... like the song too. Like the song, despite like how the season actually plays out, it's really mm. like building up to this like adventure in the Lost Galaxy. Yeah. And the way they sync the clips to the Power yeah. Rangers, every time, in every version, they find a way to do that. Okay, I'm going to put it in A, but I think it's better than Mighty Morphin, 100%. Oh, yeah. Um, I would say, do we move Mighty Morphin down? Ooh, you might be right. I think, yeah, because Zio is... If you compare, Zio, like, the excitement hype levels. Yeah, I think you're right. I think Mighty Morphin has to go to B. All right, and then I, I will have a bias on this one because I do love me a good Lightspeed Rescue. Okay, so I like the way everything syncs up in that, in the opening. Yes. But the song is literally about nothing. It sounds good, but it's literally about <laughs> nothing. What? The, you, it's about the signal, and it's calling. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a planet that is falling. It's falling. And, and that danger will test you. You better make it. Lightspeed Rescue. But, like, it just doesn't... Dun, dun. It, there's nothing. It's And, and I feel bad, because Lightspeed Rescue is one of my favorite seasons. Th- there's nothing in the opening that makes me feel like it's it's something. I will the action, say... The action's really good in it, though. The action is great. However, there are two things that have always bugged me with the light speed opening. Mm-hmm. When they put Ryan in, it messes up the sync for Viper's credit. I like it in Does the first it? version where Viper's credit is Ranger save the day. And, and then, that's where Viper's credit is. But yeah. in the second version, that's where Captain Mitchell's credit is. Uh-huh. I feel like Viper's suits that suits that bit better and that's some minor nitpick my other nitpick is that they only update it twice and at no point do they put any new credit any new action clips at the end yeah because don't they have like mo- they have multiple zords in this show max solar never goes in and the omega mega the omega mega zord never goes that's wild yeah you know what i love how ryan's bit has that shot of him turning around on the rooftop yes because that's never in the show. They filmed that, I'm assuming, specifically for this. For me, it has like a bit of a piece, a crumb, almost of like trying to tell a story at the beginning. Like it zooms on the aqua base and the thing yeah. rises up. Like it's I like, trying. Yeah, I, I feel like it has also have to, has to do with like Lightspeed not really having their own like story. It, it And like, I, don't get me wrong. I think Lightspeed Rescue is cool because yes. it's actual people who are in a working force of saving lives, then becoming Power Rangers. Yeah, I really like that. But how do you tell that in a song? How do you tell uh, that the, in like 30 these seconds? people are real people, and they yeah. fight evil. But I mean, like, visually, very... visually, they do kind of say that, show this. Because like in the beginning, you see, like, and this is unique specifically to this season, you see all of them like behind like what their job's supposed to be. Yeah. No, you see red, fire truck, pink, nurse, green, you see him at an airbase. He jumps um, over a wall. 
jumps over a wall, <laughs> but like you show that like he's physically fit. The car yeah. almost makes it better. The the this almost <laughs> makes it worth putting it higher, but it it's still a C. Then you have no idea what she's doing, except she climbs rocks. And Ryan have nothing. Yeah, Ryan has nothing. Ryan, Ryan um, have no hobby. I never understood why Mike Chad was from SeaWorld. A problematic fave. But sure, okay. Yeah, he works at SeaWorld. Great. Ryan, again, he doesn't really do anything, but this is cool, and... That I almost makes sense for it. Yeah. For years, and, I didn't know that Ryan had credit. Yeah. Because Fox Kids here didn't play the second opening. Oh, did it not? Because they, they had to edit some of the shots to, like, for the like the epilepsy oh thing. wild so they just only edited the first one and then just copy and pasted the first opening great balls of fire that's weird things are really hotting up but so yeah. for the whole season ryan was never credited and that was sort of fine because he was barely in it anyway right so... <laughs> and i mean like i guess it kind of makes sense that like he's just in the aqua base because like really like that's what he is he's the he's the cat and son yeah. and like it kind of fits but I don't think he should have been second. No, I think, I think he should. I think he should be right before Captain Mitchell, and then Captain Mitchell should then go, and then Doctor Fairweather. Yeah, and this is what would... I kind of don't like about this era: is they credit based on alphabetical order. Is that what it is? That's I dumb. think so. Instead of hierarchy in the cast. Yeah, and that bothers me. Mm hmm. So yeah, I think C tier perfectly fine place for Lightspeed Rescue. Yeah. Time Force, Time Force, Power Rangers, go! Oh, this one's gonna be tough. So it's good. It's good. I might be getting burned out from watching all of these, but it's good. I like the song. What do you think about the song? It's not my favorite. I like some of the cuts, and I like how the Ranger suits. And the actors are in this, oh, actually are visible doing things in the opening other than standing and smiling. The second version of this opening is far superior. Yes. Because the first version doesn't have that. And I also think the second version of this opening lies to you. It does. The, it's 100% a liar because the song and the way the clips are played out in the song makes it sound like it's this time traveling adventure right. it's 100 percent not it is absolutely they got not. that movie madness footage and they were like you know what you know we can what? really we this can really ca works. capitalize on this just the second made it a time traveling bit if only i think the second version does a better job of like the middle bit yeah the middle montage is incredible yeah in the second version of the opening they really use every cut mm -hmm. and i will never make anything that looks as good as that god <laughs> I think it might be B. I know people are going to be mad at that because, like, everybody loves Time Force. Which, by the way, this doesn't discredit any of the quality of any of these shows. Absolutely not. Like, my favorite season, Lightspeed Rescue, is on the bottom. It's, like, the last <laughs> place of, of our list right now. Yeah, we have to take it just as a montage of clips and how we With, feel about and the, that. And how we feel about how it's put together, the song. What do you think about the opening credits? I... Borderline ugly. Yeah. But I like it for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's because it has like that early 90s to, or late 90s, 2000s charm to it. Yeah. I don't like the first version where they just have the cast smiling because yeah. I don't feel like they're that nice to look at. I also kind of like the zoom. Not in, the cast themselves. Honestly. They're very pretty yeah. cast. but <laughs> I like the, the zoom shot. in on this one. The zoom in on trip of all people seems really random, but I quite like that randomness beat. of it's it. That, it's, that, it's the beat of it. Yeah. Okay, so it's just trip for whatever reason. But it's not bad. Like, I think looking into the camera is kind of a lazy, like, in like a nice area, kind of lazy. But they are also doing things. Yeah. It is not like they are just sitting in, like... A forest or like the woods <laughs> or at like a park they are like eric's working and they're all at the clock tower which is you know where they live I think and like maybe you know, that's why i don't really like them that much because they're in the clock tower and it's quite dark in there maybe but also like they're but doing then it, something. yeah they're, like i think at least it relates to 
them as a show. Yeah. They're in a place that's significant, I suppose. But I just maybe it's not, you know. Jason Font's thing, not good. Like it's just <laughs> him cheesing out the camera. Like trips. It's amazing. Like if they all gave them something to do, like even if like Katie was arm wrestling, that would have been fine. It is really funny seeing a Mr. Collins like just fat. At just this, like, there. Ooh, just at this little desk. Yeah, and, and he like... doesn't look happy about it. <laughs> So it's funny just because like there's this exciting like theme tune behind it. It's just a, a man sat at a desk in a really <laughs> yeah. boring room. <laughs> I love it. I think after his character arc, there should have been a third opening where he smiles. Every <laughs> film like four <laughs> different versions, he's getting a bit more of a smile every time. Yeah. Just sprinkle it in. <laughs> so honestly, is B okay? Do you think B is good or do you think it should go higher or lower? I think B. Okay. For me, it deserves B solely because of that that montage. After the slight disappointment of Time Force, let's go to Wild Force. Oh my god. Force. Oh my god. That was great. That was 100% perfect. To you. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong about that opening other than maybe the song, again, like being nothing. But honestly, I only feel like it's that in the beginning because it's like, it's, it's telling you the story of just like, oh, now we're going like even further beyond for Power Rangers. Because like, I love the line how it's like wild force is this it's this it's this and it's like oh we're better we're stronger we're faster we're harder like <laughs> i like the progression in that and like the the cast credits are great because yeah not I'm only interrupt in the verse with a, like a wild force because like not only is it is it show the cast member it shows the zord which is cool yeah they've learned like we've done too many years of a basic credit we need to add something and then this. it shows them with their weapon. I love how Taylor gets a second version as well. Like halfway through, they're like, yeah. you know what? Let's give her like her hair blowing in the wind, but just her. No yeah, one else is like, getting. Wasn't she like too serious in the first one? Yeah, she had like a her hair was like different. It was neater and not so like. Yeah. Which I mean, for character progression, good. But I don't know right? if it was. I don't know if it was because of that reason. I'm so interested. Like what? Like. When they were just like, you know what, we need to update this credit. Yeah, like when, I wonder when what was they... the decision to go out and film a new thing just for one person, just for her, because like obviously, you know, like they obviously had to add Silver Ranger, but did yeah. they like were there actual conversations of like, you know, her characters changed from the last time, like let's let's change it. Yeah, it's so interesting. I think this opening is. A masterpiece. I think I do too. whoever edited this, I need to meet them and be like, you have done such a every beat is on point. Every clip matches every ah, oh, I can't yeah, and then like the bit oh, where they put the... the crystal sabers in and it like spins out yes, into right. another shot of it. This is this is the only thing wrong with this opening. What? <laughs> his face, his face. It literally face. looks like it, it looks <laughs> like he is like pleasing himself. They could have they could have Maybe he could be looking down more menacingly instead of yeah. looking Or like laughing maniacally. Like, yeah, I, it's, it's, yeah. This, this is my favorite part of this opening. Oh, where it shoots. Yeah, and like, they have no relation to each other whatsoever. But oh. it looks fucking cool. And they do have like every Zord combination in this opening. Yeah. Like, that's awesome. And again, we don't normally see that. Ever. I, one of my favorite bits is where the gorilla... Roll, rolls, yeah. yells that because that is first of all the sound effect from the show. Yes. Also, it's a great sound effect, and then it's like the gorilla roars, and then the two bears blast, and it's just on the beat. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't say enough amazing. about this opening. It's yeah. incredible. And like, I'm not the biggest fan of Wild Force. That's an amazing opening. Yeah, that gets you hyped. But that was an easy pick. Like that was. Oh my yeah. god, that was so good. All right. Now we hit the Disney era, like the actual official Disney era. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. F tier right here. <laughs> yeah, that's S tier. Come on, man. <laughs> no complication like, needed. Everything flows together. Like the opening like the cast credits, like top tier cast credits. Oh. Yeah. You have the character defining clip. Oh, I know what they're interested. In. And then you get the close up of the actor. So like you're like, okay, that's that person. And you have the suit. I love how like they're like, we've got this green screen of the 
because like they're taken from the morph sequence so they've got yes. this green screen of them morphing why don't we use that in the opening exactly. in a different context in, like use what you've got and like the spinning like yeah the, the, uh, emblem. I, I, the emblem no, and like i really like the the unevenness of the oh shape yeah like that's the, going the around text, as well yeah like the textured cutout oh, it makes it feel nice. like crafty i don't know there's something about it that yeah i like how it's, it's kind of like perfect. a torn scroll and yeah, it's like you see, like it's so it's so good. And also, I love the the credits for Hunter Blake and Cam. Yes, the the track in as the they smile. They don't have like the holding the morpher shot for them. So yeah, they had to, like obviously film specifically ones for them, and it's nice. Like it it gives them something different, but like it's still like visually the same. And then it gets a little toy preachy at the end. I mean, it, it gets wild. Buy all these things. Look how the, <laughs> look at all the things you could buy, guys. Look, look at this, this armor. Thing. Look at this, yeah. this dragon this vehicle that gets used bike. once. Look at all these things that you can just buy in America, and that's it, because it didn't belong in the Sentai. And I like how this opening starts the tradition of the last thing before the title card at the end is the team posing. Um, this time they filmed them specifically for the show. Right. Well, for the opening, they filmed, you know, three versions. Yeah, I, I do agree. Like, the the team at the end is necessary. Like, the Megazord stuff, fine. But, like, no, you need, like, the team at the end. Yeah. And I also like how they also show the team together on Morph just having fun. Yeah. They like, literally that's huge. never do that. And I like the first version of the opening where it's just the three of them. Yes. They have, like, two credits. Because they have, like, they do their hobby. Then they have one with, like, a split screen. And then it yes, goes into do, yeah. the one the one we have now. And I, yeah. I like the split screen one as well. And I don't know why they have two, but I guess to fill out time. All right, here we go. What are we on? Dino Thunder. Okay, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's great. Clips are good. Cast credits are good. Transition's amazing. I, I think... <laughs> And I don't know if it's the compression, at least on this version of the video, the sound design is extremely lacking. Yeah, I don't recall any... Which is why I think... Like, I feel like Ninja Storm didn't need it, but there's a lot of, like, specific hits that happen in this opening. Yeah. That I don't feel like had sound and could have had sound. But it's definitely, at the least, A, t a tier. Yeah, I like... The song. I like the cast credits again. They use like the the green screen of the the morph sequence. Yes. Perfectly in that. I like the tail that comes down and smashes to another clip of them. Yes, and I also like how the texture at the, the opening credits that's like behind them. Oh, the glowing. Use, yeah. They use it in on, on like Tommy's computers. Do they? Yeah, it's like the background for his. Oh computers. yeah. I've Is always, that texture? I've never noticed that. And I thought that was well, cool. And I, yeah, I like really the cool. way, I like the way the text transitions in. Yes. But like, what did you think you would hear like a, the, the, the scrape sound effect from that they Yeah. One side. Like and I like how this point in the opening where they have like the cast, well not the cast, the rangers do their, their pose in front of the emblem and they update yeah. that as the series goes on. Love that. I just feel like watching this straight after Ninja Storms I don't care, which like, maybe isn't a fair judgment because I've watched something better and then watched this because this is still a good opening. Right. But maybe it just doesn't have to evoke the same hype. Yeah. Man, I don't know. There's something about it. I love it. how they're pimping out that truck. Oh, I know. Like, There's It's unnecessary. Like 10, 15 episodes before the finale, they've got this right. truck in the opening. <laughs> like it's going to be a big, it's gonna you're going to fucking deal. love it. And then it's just like, no, you don't. Like, there's nothing. One episode, one episode. It doesn't do anything. And, like, they had a toy of it, and it was an entire playset, and it did stuff. Right? What the hell did it do in the fucking show? I can't remember. I think I... Well, I definitely got the Ninja Storm truck. I might have got the Dino Thunder one as well, and just had two identical it's the same giant truck. trucks. It is the same <laughs> truck. <laughs> yeah. It's the same goddamn trunk, just painted red. A, it seems good. It might be... I think Zero is better than Lost Galaxy. I'd say Lost Galaxy is better than Dino Thunder. Yes, 100%. Time Force is better than Mighty Morphin, but Mighty Morphin's still up there. And <laughs> then, what do you think is better, Turbo or Lightspeed? Lightspeed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I thought too. All right. And then the top tiers, I think I think these are ordered properly. Uh -huh. No, wait, no. Okay. 
Ninja Storm is before Wild Force, 100% though. Yeah. Because In Space had the sound design, it had a good uh, cast credit, it had good action. Ninja Storm had a good, like phenomenal cast credits, but like it didn't have a lot of sound design to it. Yeah. I think that and maybe then, what edge in space out. Okay. This is okay. After this one, it gets controversial. Cause cause some people really like these and some people really don't like these. So I like this one. One hundred percent. There's no doubt that I it's good. Like it. My main thought is the cast credits. Okay. Ah, good concept. Maybe not executed the best. Yes. Especially after know. like something like Ninja Storm. This yeah. ain't it. This ain't it. I don't know why they look so low res. Yeah. And like washed out. I don't like how the camera is moving. I I thought the camera moving was a good idea, but for whatever reason, especially when you look at like this paired to like the footage from the show, like and it's it's because of bad keying. But they yeah. all have a gross green tinge to their skin. They all look kind of gray, particularly Bridge here. But I think, like, look at Doggy's credit, where he the camera is right. static on him and he's moving. He looks so much better. I think it's well, because, because they're he's... moving and the background is still, yeah. and it's weird. Yeah, I think they could have just done an action in front of a camera. And like, I don't know. It's, it... it's funny because you, I don't know if you got these, but in in the states, we you might have got them. But they did like a whole thing to promote SPD. Oh, the state your name rank. Yeah. And they're like, Sky 2, I am the SPD Blue Ranger. Blue. Yeah, and these I are what those are so from. Vividly. Like, that's where like the floating head oh, was yeah. from. They must have done like a day shoot on a green screen and just done like right. a load of promo stuff. And then they just used it for the opening. Remember in those promos, there are some better clips of them doing like action poses that could have worked. I disagree. Maybe. And the only reason why I say that is because they tinted everybody blue. That's true. <laughs> that hit away all of the gross keying and all of the <laughs> grossness from the actual shoot. Hmm. I really like all the boxes moving because that's how the show is yeah. styled. And I love that. Yeah. I wish the it wasn't just white borders, but like, I mean, what were you going to do? And but like, the rest of it's good. The I rest like of it's good. The Fine. actions. If I'm not mistaken, I kind of liked the original version better. I think so. I did as well. Yeah, I like the original version a little bit better. Yeah, I do too. Um, Because there's three versions, was there not? Or was there just two? I think there's five. It might be. I might be wrong. Oh, maybe four. Oh, who's this video? Original, Shadow, Omega, and then yeah. SWAT. Oh, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, some of the shots are just, like, better choices. So where would you place SPD? B at the most. Do you think it's better than Dino Thunder? Oh, that is the question. I think Dino Thunder is better just for the composition of the cast credits. I will agree with you on that. Because I feel like that is the main aspect for me. Yeah. If you do a terrible cast credit, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the song saves it enough. I think the song The song saves is very good. Enough. So I just noticed something about this opening that I want to see if you rec realized at the end. Oh. At the end of this opening, they 100% just reuse the sound effects from the previous one. Oh no! In the cut Does that it not we just up? watched. No. Oh you, no! You have Megazord sound effects with this. Oh no! And then there's just no sound effects for some of the things that should have sound effects. That's that automatically, like, listen, grimful. I like. Despite what everybody thinks about it, despite that there's a Ron Wasserman version of the Mystic Force theme song, I still kind of like the Mystic Force theme song. I would hum yeah. it all the time because it has a catchy rhythm. You know what? I used to hate it. Now, it's one of my favorites. Yes. And I don't know how that changed, but it's just, it's so different. Yes. And I'm okay with that. I am too. And my only other problem with this is that there definitely should have been sound design for the opening credits because of they had magical sound effects in the beginning and they don't have them here. Yeah. They could be like a like a, a swirly magical sound yeah. there and then lightning uh, here. I don't mind the cast credits that much. I, 
don't yeah. like how it's a how their ranger form appears in a circle next to them because there's never like if there was like a they don't really use the crystal ball all that much i think there is one yeah um, i like how it starts and the like the spell seal fits yeah. perfectly in the circle i don't know how i feel about the font being gold for the credits yeah i, I understand why they wanted to go for like the harry potter vibe yeah but the footage is very not harry potter I'm trying to think how I feel about this opening, like visually. I like the cast credits, but yeah, they're not my like, favorite. Yeah, they're no. fine. They're all right. Yeah, I like the wisps of magical color, but like the background I... is literally just a texture. Is it's it like, like more? It's more smoke, and then it cuts to this. The split screen's a bit boring. Yeah, but then it cuts to like this as the background doesn't move at all. It's a, it's yeah, it's a still image seal, but like. <laughs> Make it move, like make the mystic seal rotate a little bit. Give us like flashy like lens flares in the back of that, and then put it. It looks in the like back a still image from like looks like a still image from like a press pack that yeah. they would use on like merchandise or like exact no one hundred percent one hundred percent. I could one hundred percent see like the Red Ranger figure like right next to the yeah. thing with like a little description of who he is. Yeah. Visually, I I honestly like. Like, despite how you feel about Mystic Force, I honestly think it's not that bad. It's generally good. I don't like the clip of the five legend forms posing that sped up. I generally don't like yes. sped up posing. There's, there's a degree to which you can speed it up. And then right. after that, it becomes a bit silly. Visually, it's not striking at all. All the cast credits yeah. are bad. Like, it's not that they're bad. They just don't go together. Like, I don't like a lot of the cast shots are slowed down and i'm like uh -huh. you i have to slow down stuff because i'm only working with what the show has right but they have access to like the raw takes right so do they need to slow it down sometimes probably there are probably times where like maybe they get the shot exactly like five seconds long and then that's true um, it depends they on what need they like that, they need like that extra two seconds so they yeah. have to slow it down I feel like this intro as well. I feel like it it's built for a narration, but it doesn't have one. Yeah, it definitely it should have had narration. It should have had the actress who played Udana say yeah. what what this is, and then even if it was like strikingly like off with how like different like the narration is compared to like the opening, I think it would have still worked. I don't even know what you would describe. It would, it's not rap. That's what it used people described it as, and I yeah. don't feel like this is that. I'd say it's <laughs> hip hop. It's like melodic hip hop, if anything, yeah. maybe. But we can get maybe more like into pop. I don't know. Yeah. Like, where would you place this? Visually, it's not appealing. The... We like the song, but not we're not hyped for it. I will say this song is a banger when they remix it, but that's this. The opening doesn't have that. I would say on the same tier as Turbo and Lightspeed. Me. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe, maybe I'm clouded by that the the unanimated texture behind Udonna and Claire. Maybe right. that's really uh, it's threw me so off. it's so still. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, but now we'll have more to talk about with this one. Oh, I've got a lot to say. Power Rangers, I hate how visually it's the most appealing. It's the what? It's really appealing visually. I think. Interesting. Because it actually has like motion graphics that like fit the theme. And like yes. Like the map stuff looks really I think looks really good. Yeah. I think like I, the compass thing is cool. I think the credits have a good Oh, oh, I take it back with Tyvons. Compare everyone else's to Tyvons. Like the the borders and everything. Yeah. Tyvons looks like more like blobs. It looks like they copied and pasted the last one. Like they copied and pasted Dax's onto a different country and it's like, it's fine. Because, like, Dax just... was South America, and then he's on, like, Africa, and it's just like, eh, they look similar enough. I don't like how the masking is done, but I like the idea of it. I have a lot of thoughts on these credits. I okay. think they could be good. I don't like how they use up the headspace for showing their individual powers. Yeah. Because okay. Dax's credit ends on a tiny version of Dax in the air. Yeah. <laughs> And Rose's credit ends on her invisible. Right. 
I feel like it should end on their face. I don't know. It yeah, feels weird to me. you're right. Yeah, power should have gone first and then face. Or take out their Zord, put their power in there. Because the Zord does, works for some of them, but doesn't for others. Like Roses, you can't see that it's a submarine. Yeah, it's not, it's not a series where the Zord is so essential to their power. <clears throat> not at all. It's grown on me, but not enough for me to think that it's great. No, not at all. Honestly, this might be our first D tier. I remember when I was editing this for my opening, mm -hmm. my boyfriend was so mad at me because I would obviously listen to this song all day. Oh, yeah. And he was furious because it was when it was the first one I edited after he found out that I made openings. Right. After I came out for opening making. For liking Power Rangers. Well, he knew I liked Power Rangers before oh, that. Okay. He didn't. He didn't know quite how much. Uh, okay. <laughs> he was like, "So, what is this channel you've got here?" I'm like, "Oh my god, no, you found it." I was like, "Oh, I can just now edit freely around him." Yeah. And he was like, "I shouldn't have found out. I should have made you keep this a <laughs> secret. This is ruining my life." <laughs> yeah, like, man, that's so relatable just to me and like me alone. <laughs> Flurious is credit. Every time, I cannot mm -hmm. unnotice the fact that the clip comes away from the edge of the screen. Does it? Oh, wait, no, it doesn't on that one. On this one. Wait, try it. Look at... Yeah, we'll look at the original Hartford's. One. So we'll In the original, the original version, it comes away. If that's it, like, it deserves where it is. <laughs> it deserves where it is, no matter what. Honestly, it deserves where it is, no matter what. I was honestly almost give, going to give it a seat here. All right, here we go. I think this is the original one. Oh, this is much worse. Yeah, no, it does... It gets better, I think, the yeah. visuals. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like how... No. What? Wait, how does it look? That key is so bad. Hang on. How does it look here? <gasps> they put the... Oh, my God. What? So, newer version, morphing sequence in the corner. The original version just uh, has the green screened suit actor. Why are they so small? I hate it. I hate <clears throat> that they're so I, small. No, Make them so bigger and bad. it's better. I know. Also, it's not. Why aren't they like they like dark? It's not. They're not. No, they're not dark. There's like a, it's just a, a shadow. A, yeah, there's a bad key, so like they're feathering it out. But they all the way around their body. Yeah, so it looks. So it just doesn't like, look. And they're they're using like a key. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. There we go. It's moving. <laughs> it moves. It moves away from the. <gasps> and the same for Floria. So they must have just copy and pasted the effect. The the box. That's not good. Who who got fired? <laughs> who got fired that day in the post production? There game? he goes. <laughs> oh my moving. god! It was somebody's last day in the editing bay for real. Why does this? Look also, like I don't like how the openings don't end on a team shot. They could have. Oh, they could have had it on the rain. They could just have, they could have. They didn't because they wanted to transition with the Zord into the slash to make the logo. I bet you that's why it's like that. Cause it, cause yeah, it, it, you see the logo, it, he slashes and then it transitions to the same position and okay. it spins to the logo. I don't I'll hate that, but you're right. It should end with, the, yeah, it just deserves, you know what? Oh my God, are you making an ad row below? Wow. It really just like doesn't deserve anything. <laughs> yeah. You know what? And I get mistakes happen. Yeah. But I guarantee you they did not fix that. <laughs> I guarantee you they did not fix that for future episodes until, like, they got the Six Ranger in. Yeah, when they did a big overhaul. <clears throat> yeah. Although, like, they did update it because in the... I mean, it's not updated in the opening, I guess, but in the, you know, the behind-the-scenes special... Yes. They spelled Rose's actress's name wrong. Oh. And it's changed for the episode one. That's interesting. But I guess the text would come separately because it'd make the opening without text. And then, right. And then they, yeah. whoever's typing up the text is different, I guess. Because they did that with uh, Yoshi. They put, yeah. Uh, he, he wanted to be credited as Yoshi instead of Yashua. And the same with Johnny Young Bosch and Steve Cardenas. Yeah. All right. Take here we in. Go. So it's not how I would edit it, but it's not bad. I really like it. I like it too. I think it's got um, the energy. Yeah. Let's see. I want to look more close to get like the visual. There is a lot going on in these credits. Yeah. 
and I'm here for it. <laughs> Hang on, let look at look at Rhino Zord's movement. I love the Rhino's movement. <laughs> it's That's so wild. Much. It's so <laughs> ridiculous. It works a lot better with the the other ones. Yes, it does. Well, we're gonna see actually. Let me see. But it's consistent. It has yeah, it is a lot better. It's not great. Oh, the cheetahs not. All of them great. aren't great, but. Ew, wolf is bad. Wolf is just ooh. But this is how you do animated range of in the corner. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You're correct. Yes. They've learned. They took that year. I mean, really? Wait, is it? Hang on. Now I need to know if. Okay, it is the same for all of them. Okay, they do a thing. They fade out. They pause. They fade yeah. out. Again, I not think how these... I would do it, but yeah, I think it's fine. And I think these green screen shots are from the morph again. You know the bit where like there's like five of them posing at once just before yes, the end of the morph. I agree. I think I these think are from so there. Too. They still have to do like a load of different poses on a green screen and just right. I don't like the villain credits. I don't either, but they They're that to awful be... like two frame a second lightning in the background. It's oh yeah, no, that's that's weird. But overall, I mean, it's not offensively bad. There is a lot going on. Yeah. I think I prefer the first, first version. Let's look at that. Also, <laughs> Jungle Fury. So I have no attachment to Jungle Fury because that's around the time I stopped watching Rangers. Because I stopped watching mm. Rangers like during Operation Overdrive. But it was the first one that I watched after Nickelodeon got the broadcasting rights. Because they were re-airing Jungle Fury. Oh, yeah. The Nicktoons Network. They were like, Power Rangers Jungle Fury Marathon. Watch every single episode today at noon. And I was like, I have nothing to do today at noon. <laughs> so I watched all of Jungle Fury and I was like, My this God. isn't bad. It's got a lot of good things going for it. Yeah. I think. I like how they uh, followed every cast credit with an explosion shot. Who? Where would you place this? I'm having a hard time placing it. I would place it on... What tier is that? B? Okay. I think B. Do you... Yeah, I think feel? like vis I visually I think it's better than like Mighty Morphin at the very least. Yeah. Like, but like the song is just okay, in my opinion. Like the song is fine, but like it just doesn't I always like, feel like me up as much. Outside of the little intro, mm -hmm. there's not much that screams jungle fury. Yeah. Which is fine. If I like the song, but it's not specific that much in the vibe the lyrics are quite specific but yeah all right this is where it gets real controversial oh oh i'll be am why'd you do this to me i'm literally yawning right now anyways if that doesn't explain how i feel about this opening it's not good it's not good. And like, honestly, I feel bad saying it because I love RPM, but it yeah, just is not. Like, I love RPM too. It. it is hard guitars with just saying like the title just of the show screaming. and like the morph call. The graphical interface of the computer that like they're trying to pretend like is pulling up all these files, bad. Doesn't look good. I don't mind it. It's not the best. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when they shove Gem and Gemma in, which first of all, a double cast credit not here yeah. for it they're individual people right but the way they have to shove them in because the intro is so short right the credits go by so fast the other ones they have to chop them so down so it's just unhinged yeah. like the speed it goes through uh, but god rpm like honestly it's almost it's almost as abysmal as operation overdrive <laughs> but... i like the i like the montage after the cast credits before yeah. like and, like but the... that's that's the only thing I can give it is like there's a cool mm. fast montage. But yeah, nothing. It doesn't really do it for me. The the inter the cast credits look not good because I just don't like the interface that they're trying to pull off for that world. I like the narration. The narration is good. The narration is. good. I feel like but a show like RPM needed that because yes. it's not as simple as five teenagers, you know. Right. And I don't know. It, there's just so much that it could have been. Yeah. Honestly, I would have gone with <laughs> I would have gone with the first episode where it just cuts to the title. Just that, yeah. Just time to be wrong in every episode. With a hard like <laughs> drums smash. 
Honestly. Like, that would have been cool. And, like, it would have still gotten, like, an F tier for, like, intro. But, like, compared to what we got, uh, RPM's D only because it doesn't have anything actually wrong with it that they Any needed Any glaring to fix errors. <laughs> yeah, that they needed to fix later. Like, um, as a piece of editing, it... Yeah. It makes sense for what they had to do. But, yeah, that's about it. That's the only thing good I can say about that. It's a good montage. Yeah. The way... Where they put... The cast credits, I think, is fine. It's actually really good. But no, just the song's no, yeah. too short. It's literally just guitars screaming the title of the show. It's not it's not a good song. It's not a good visual. No. It's just too too intense. Yeah. When, when this first came out, I loved the rendition and kind of just like it's less deep of a of a guitar rift. Yeah. And I do like the vocalist. I hate them saying their names. I love it. <clears throat> it's so camp. I think it's awful. Do you think we should count the opening narration as a part of it? I don't think so. The cast but... credits are boring. So boring. Yeah. It does the job. And I like how they've added like the the fall in calligraphy, the um, character shot as well. But I, visually incorrect. Because if you look uh, where the split screen is, you c they added it, but they added it wrong. There's, <laughs> there's clear points where it actually starts and it's being cut off now. Or were they lazy with it? They weren't lazy with it. It was just that one time. You know my my big thing with this credit these credits though. What? Behind the symbol that's behind their name. Yes. The board is red, not their character color. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not good. Did someone forget to change the? Or was it right. meant to be like that? I don't like that it's meant to be like that. <clears throat> if that's true. If if it was meant to be no, you know what? It looks like a mistake, because it looks like Antonio's is different. Yeah. So it looks like they were basically this was a template, so they I'm could match the they could match the speed. Yeah. And so whoever didn't just who just whoever did this just didn't decide to change the glow. Yeah. So I I would count this as a mistake. So I'd say, and we're counting samurai and super samurai as the same thing. Okay. Yep. It was 100 mistake. You can see their glows are Perfect. different colors. I hate this bit. I can't stand it. The bit yeah. where they're all smiling at each other. <laughs> For no Why? reason. It goes on for so long. Like, there's, no, it's not like they're all in the same room. They're all from completely different scenes. Like, I'm all and for, like, having content like this in an opening. Yeah. But it's just too much, I think. My least favorite bit, why the hell is Lauren here? This is all they gave her. <laughs> One little shot. I think the montages in Super are better. I don't know yeah. if I'd say the Super's... If Super's credit cast credits are better, they're different ever so slightly. But I don't like how, and this is because of Sentai footage and like they didn't have probably the raw footage. They're not even. They're n it's not a yeah. true middle split screen. I I wonder why. It was probably because they wanted they specifically wanted to use these shots and. Like, Shin Kendra was probably shot at 720p. Samurai was shot in 1080. They didn't want to upscale the footage because the back then you really couldn't. But they definitely wanted to use the new swanky suits with them posing. I really enjoy as well, like, they keep the, like, the fighting grunt. Samurai forever! Ha! Jaden! Ha! Mia! Ha! Mike! And the first opening. Yes. Yeah. But then, they've changed it to them just like standing. Yeah. For me, like ha, and she's just I standing up. Still count that as a mistake. I also don't like how the super transitions into the samurai. I don't like be, that at all. It should be one title. I don't samurai. mind it being called like Super Samurai as a show, whatever. Yes. But the TV intro ends in just samurai. That's fine yeah. for me. Whatever. It's a marketing thing. But I don't like power in just super. All right, where do you think this should go? It might go in D. Like, I like yeah. the song just fine, but the, we found glaring visual errors. And I'm like, I like the energy of it, but it, nothing about 
the clip really appealed to me. Yeah. Nothing evokes an emotion. But it is better than that. RPM, for sure. No doubt about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> like, honestly, it almost went to see if there wasn't, like, visual errors that happened. And again, we're not dissing anybody who's edited these. We have pl- we both have made plenty of mistakes in our own edits. Absolutely. It happens. It's fine. But, like, with our edits, we're watching them. With <laughs> television show edits, this has to go through, like, the director, the like TV producers, the television broadcasters, like there's so many people who would have looked at this and been like, is that the right color? Are they? Yeah. There's there's so many people who would have just like caught that and like would have been like, hey, we need to change this part. And clearly they did because in season two they they were and like they did like like it's it's a D and then Megaforce D. might join it. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, it's a tough one. First of all, with the original Megaforce, there is no reason for them to use Ghost Ager footage for, for like, cast footage. I love it. I love that uh, you can clearly see Ghost Ager's Red's jacket. There is no... Multiple times. God, it's, the entire, it's the entire time. It's the entire shot. Like, if they gave Troy a red jacket fine i would be able to understand that a little bit more well in the in the show they used that shot but they recolored his jacket did use they? the recolored version yeah they did, color just colored it black did they use the shot yeah there's no i remember they did that in go sage or in go kaiser no they did it in megaforce as well i'm fairly sure d tier it is I, there's so, no like... reason especially because now that you tell me that that means they had an edited version of that shot with black sleeves and they didn't use it because like yeah. it could have worked because there's so many flares and stuff like you See, wouldn't I... be able to tell with the glaring issues yeah. but like god i don't mind so much of the first two it's the one where like you can clearly see a lot of like, the arms of the jacket yeah oh like, that's clearly yeah i like the cast credits i like the cast credits are nice I like cut into a full screen shot. I love the bit where Emma spins on the bike. Yeah, I also love that how is... they're not specifically opening credit shots. Like they're not like maybe this footage wasn't used or like it doesn't look like it was meant for the opening. Yeah, I know Emma wasn't used in the show, but mm-hmm. I feel like it was part of a scene that they just didn't use the shot for. Yeah. So the rest of them were used. And why? Why? Are Ernie and Mr. Burley credited? I don't know. He's, Mr. he's Burley, barely in the show. I think I looked it up once. He was in like five episodes in total or something stupid. Oh no, actually, 14 episodes he was in. But he made no impact. No. <laughs> like, he's not, he doesn't need to be there. But, but I feel like... I, I will say, Super Mega Force kind of takes it down a peg. Oh, interesting. Because the cast credits in the first one, good. But oh. they it's a close up and then they freeze frame it. But at different it's, times. Yeah. I think this feels like a prototype of what they will do from now on, essentially. Yes. Because but they after Dino Charge it start filming these right. shots specifically for the opening. But this it was like they were getting halfway there with the concept. Right. And Noah's credit is one of the worst credits. In all power engines. Why has he mid laugh with his eyes closed? I Why is that the shot know. we decided this is gonna represent this character? Right. Oh, well, you know, he is he is Jesus Christ. I don't know. <laughs> I I had a joke. Like, there's no there's no excuse. I do um, like how at this point they're starting to add effects to the footage. Yes. Like where Red jumps off the galleon. Yeah. And it's like that shockwave. I really like that. I do too. This isn't bad. Like having the legendary battle kind of be the tail end. I don't like this is what although it does spoil if if you had never seen any of like the leaks and like whatever. You see like you can clearly tell who definitely actually showed up to be a part yeah. of this and then who definitely did not. Cuz you can sort of work out. Oh, it's interesting that not all just like you'd assume the front would be like Mighty Morphin. Right. 
Or, like, oh, like interesting. They'd be, like, Most broken up by teams. By both. Yeah. Right. But, like, I do like... And I like the helmets. I love the SWAT. This is incredible. Helmets. Yeah. That's great. I honestly wish... Th- I think they did use it in a lot of promotional material. I wish they used it more in a lot of promotional material. That's a good, yeah. It's a good graphic to use. I really like the montage in Super Mega Force is one where, like, it's going through the legendary Ranger mode stuff. I think that's a good job of explaining yeah. the concept of it. Like, the Morpha flips open, the key goes in, and you... They spell that out. God, are you gonna make Through me the montage, put it? Like that bit. Are you gonna make me put this in front of Samurai? Yes. Because, because <laughs> like the only actual error in Mega Force's opening is the fact that they're using Gosager footage for unmorphed footage, which isn't the worst thing. Of all the ones in the tier below, got mistakes. But yeah, no, I just the screaming the names. I um, forgot that continued, didn't it? The using of Sentai footage for unmorphed stuff. But honestly, the rest of it's fine. Yeah. The montages are good. They use a good mix of, like, Sentai and, like, the first couple episode footage of them fighting or, like, doing, like, stuff. But. There's act- And there's actually group shots of them. Like, that's, like, having yeah. fun. That group shot of them having fun. Like, that Like that was good. That was good. God damn it. All right, fine. I'm going to put Megaforce in C tier. <laughs> Low C tier. Next up. <laughs> it's good it's really good yes it literally has everything that we were just talking about for uh, a good opening and that's why this is hang on and this is why i wanted to watch super because they did the same thing that they did for megaforce yeah they ruined it also they changed the font halfway through they completely messed it up now you're right but i like the, the new font better I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. I like it better than having the same font that we've had for like three other seasons. Yeah, seasons. I'd rather them switch to this new font in the season one. Yeah. Yes, if they switched it to season one's font. But the montages are great. They add visual effects and like awesome transitions. Yeah. All the sound effect, like the sound design is amazing for this. Mm-hmm. Like each weapon has their own sound. Like it's not a, a sound soup. Like, oh, I love that bit where Venno Wing spins and yes, that's beautiful. And I like the logo. Like we don't talk about the logo as much. I love the energy mm. flying out of the logo. Yeah, and then literally like stomping down. Like that's cool. But it I, has. I think these. It's it's good, but it has some things that are like glaringly wrong with it. And Supercharged, uh-huh. like in the real show, brought it down a peg. Yeah, I feel like Supercharge definitely sort of killed the vibe. Yeah. If the Dino Charge opening is, there's not a single yeah. thing I don't like about that original opening. Right. Like the but cast credits all... yeah, are great credits because are they filmed perfect. it perfect specifically for it. They knew what they were doing before yeah. they edited it. And then all of like all of the shots like give their like each character's personalities. Yeah. It's incredible. Like. And it tells the story of like. You know, it's got the dinosaur coming out of the volcano. It's got everyone getting their energy. gem. Yeah. And then it's got everyone posing in civilian forms before you go into, like, the morph stuff. Supercharged really just brought this down to, like, honestly, a mid-A. It's honestly, I think mm. it's bet. I think it might be better than Dino Thunder, but I'm not 100% sure. What do you think? I think it's better I think than, than, better than Dino Thunder. Sure. I do like how the Season 2 credits, though, they add, like, a hexagon yeah, layer. Yeah, the hex pattern. Yeah, that's really, it's really nice. I think it could have, if they filmed new cast shots. Or even kept the same ones. Or kept the same ones. I feel like they could have, that could have been the perfect, ah, oh, it would have been great, but they ruined it. Yep. Some people work better than others in the second one, but yeah. Yoshi's does not work. Yeah, I think that's a good place for it. Go, go, Power Rangers! Go, go, Power Rangers! song honestly i still think it's catchy it does go on for a little bit too long yes just like that one last bit of chorus just if it was cut it sounds like a a fan extended edit i like everything up until the end of the cast credits as a song okay then it goes downhill the cast credits are some of the best version of this the style um, format we've got the unfortunate part is they're all in the woods looking at the camera smiling. Yes. Like in the same part of the woods. There's no character what? differentiation. I can't it. figure out. So in the first version, of the first season opening, some of them are in the woods and some of them aren't. 
No, they are all in the woods still. But some of them are like a like a hill area. Oh, you're right. Wait, but then in the second the version, hell? they're all in the woods. And I'm like, are they the same? I need to compare them side by side and see if like, maybe they were green screened. And maybe I... the background is completely, like if that's Sarah shot, it looks the yeah. same, but it's a different it background. Is... Yeah. That's They're the just behind it? a green screen. F tier, zero out of ten, <laughs> boring, bad. <laughs> they had a green screen, and yeah. they put them. They could have put them all anywhere. in the same area. <laughs> they, put them in the forest. <laughs> they all put them in the same generic goddamn forest. Either that, or they, they just good, completely though. rotoscope them out. Yes, they do look good. I feel like they perfected the art of the credit here. Yes, with that um, flow track in that I really like, and it really yeah. The lens flare is going a little bit too fast because I think they're speeding up the footage too much. Because I remember it I, went a little bit slower in the initial five, but then it sped up because they added Oh, six. yeah. I don't like in the opening where they play the entire morph sequence to sped up by like 500. They could have cut it down into a more... They could speed up a little bit, but there's parts where you, you can cut that bit out. I think because of season one and two being consistently the same... I think it's better than Megaforce. Yes. I think it is a C tier for sure. There's nothing offensively wrong about it, except maybe it drags on a little bit too long. But the visuals are good. The transitions are nice. The cast credits are good, if not just a little bland. There is an error I would like is to bring up. Is there an up. error? Um, so it. not in the one we watched, but when the episode one first aired, I don't know who, but you know the emblems that glow behind them? Yes, you are right. I remember there. Someone it was had white. The same. Was it white, white had red. But they changed it quite quickly, so they noticed. Yes, at least. <laughs> and like, but they changed it immediately, and not like, oh, we're just gonna wait until like the sixth ranger comes in. Yeah, it's like episode three or four or something. And then, on, or maybe and even then two. on rebroadcasts, it was fixed. Mm. Which is fine. Yeah, That's... I'm not gonna give it. I I will give it a little bit of shit for that, but like. They they noticed it. They immediately fixed it. And honestly, like they look this like they look very similar because they're the so type. similar. Yeah, like I it's they're just so similar that like I get it. Like literally going through files, they probably weren't even like named like yeah. red, blue, white. There was probably like zero 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 one four image file. Yeah, for a ranger <laughs> opening. And like these people have like so little connection to the content. Right. Like, like, how are they meant to know? You know? God, I love these suits. And, but both They're very aren't good. good. I think it's a proper C tier. I'd probably move it above Mystic Force. I think on... Yeah, I think that's the right placement. Okay. Yeah. And then we get to the really short ones, which is uh really weird, because, like, Power Rangers openings have been consistently getting shorter. I'm okay with a short opening. It's fine. Great song. Um, it's a good song. I, it's not the best song. It's a good song. Honestly, because that there's no background for them and it's all green screened, I honestly like it more than just... I like it more than Forest in the background. Interesting. I think I like it less because of that. <laughs> really? I do, th I do think they're really good credits. I like... All the different pieces they've added, like the giant yeah. head in the background, the giant helmet. Like there's the there's the roll call pose. Yeah, I think that's next just, to the actor. I prefer like, the, I, the other format, but I still mm. do really like this. It's nice and colorful as well. They've all See, like it's very colorful themed. Yeah, I think I like this more because it's almost like the thing I said about like having the ranger next to the actor. Yes, it's more of that. God damn it, I can't stand Robbie for the life of me. He is Why does he have the R on his shirt? Oh my god, he does. He never wears that shirt. He never that smiles so in the goddamn bad. show. Yeah, I think it's a, a well put together opening, especially because like... Of how short time uh, they have? Short time, and also Go Busters doesn't really have much footage to work with. Yeah. I find it difficult when I'm making those openings to find any yeah. footage that would work that well. Very specific. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't really working for me. I will say the logos, the transition is really cool. Like going through the logo with the electricity. Yeah. Beautiful. And then you can still see the circuit board in the background. Ooh. I can't remember season two's opening. Oh, these are less fun. It's less enjoyable. 
I don't uh, like the centered. No, I don't either. I like the offset look. Because, like, again, it, it has, like, the Rangers next to them. I really don't like that. I like the the intro bit before the credits. Like, the the yes. flow of, like, the fighting. I yes. particularly like that move where Ravi's, like, jumping backwards and firing. And then the slam on the morphers and the pose. It's still more or less the same, but it's not exact. Oh, it's yeah, like a downgraded version. God, like, honestly, there's nothing... There's nothing wrong about it than it, other than it's just kind of short. What do you think about the song? The song's fine. Honestly, I think, like, I remember hearing it, and I was like, this could be longer, and this could be, like, a really good song. Because I do mm-hmm. like the For Justice lyric. Like, that's yeah, that, that's so good. Although, I will say, they don't fight for justice. They work for a power company. They are security <laughs> guards for a power company. Yeah, if they were just, like, going after civilians for no reason, would they give yeah. a shit? It's, it's funny because everybody was just like, oh, my God, like Beast Morphers is going back to RPM. I'm like, you guys, did you guys watch the first episode? They are yeah. and they're literally and like I'm boiling it down too much, but they are they're basically your electric company and they needed really strong security. So they made Power Rangers. Yeah, that's it. They're not a part of the, the military. They're not a secret organization. They're not doing it for the goodness of their hearts. But like they, oh man, I had like a whole thing about that. It's so funny that people were just like, <laughs> oh my God, like we're back to RPM. No, no, very much not so. No. It is 100% AAA, your electric company, hiring Power Rangers to be their security guards. So maybe a B, by all means, it's not bad. Mm. Like the credit, the cast credits are good. In my opinion, the mod. But does it lose of- votes for the second season's cast credits? Um, I mean, it it's still relatively the same. It's the same footage, it's the same stuff. It's a little faster, but it's not as well composed as the other one. Also, what I've noticed is their headshots are different takes. Yo, you're right. So you know, at least spice it up. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. You know what, Lobi? That's fine. So now we're up to the last one. We finally did it after two hours of recording. We're <laughs> finally here. I like it. I think uh, the techno beat with the rock is very different, which I like. I really enjoy it. And I know people were very upset when it first got yeah. put out there, but I really like it still. I also like how... Like we were talking about with like in space, they only show the the initial yeah. three rangers, and then they bring on the other two when they're introduced. I really like the cast credits. Me too. I don't really like how they're still using the Beast Morphers font. I don't know why. They, they doesn't relate to unique. dinosaurs. And also, why is the surname capitalized? I don't know. Like, so big. Um, I don't know. It's a little weird, and it's not. It's only for the cast. Yeah. I would say possibly, I would honestly say that it's because of maybe it was a Japanese editor and like, you know, the surname is more important than the yeah. first name. But honestly, oh. no idea. I really like how they brought back the cast explosion shot at the end. Yeah. And then they ha- also After have all like these their, years. They also have their emblems behind them. Yeah. The cast credits. It's nice. They have the ranger. They have the person. Honestly, I think Dino Fury mass like it's finally mastered the the opening credits except when they double up. Ah, uh, the dub- such a controversial move. Yeah, I don't mind it because it was done in the season two. Yeah, so I don't we mind know the, the cast; they yeah. can share at this point. But if they did that for first season, right, I wouldn't have enjoyed that. I don't hate the double up because honestly, it gets through the credits faster. Yeah, you know who cares. I do enjoy how, like, Ion Zord just has to, like, fly yeah, over like... <laughs> and just dip out off screen. It's like, oh, off I go. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I prefer the first version of the opening. But it's got a good flow. Season two but... just isn't bad. Yeah. A little wacky that they now have to, like, speed up some of the footage, even though I don't think they really needed to, because they speed up Hunter's footage of her just standing there. Do they? Oh. Yeah, look at that end. Like, look at all, all that jitter. For whatever reason, they just speed up her footage. 
but it's like the tail end for some reason. Oh, that is that is weird. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna look at that on mine. I won't see it closer. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right? Oh my god, look at Zato. At the same yeah. time she's speeding up, he just drifts to the left. Like a very clear right. like keyframed I don't know, something's weird is going on at that point. Yeah. Just all seeing Because the they, the they don't do it to anybody else. Yeah. Just seeing that like Hunter sped up just made me realize how long we have to stand there smiling. Yeah. For like 30 seconds, just... But it's good. It's 100% good. The song's a good match for the show. Yeah, I really like the use of the morphing grid in the cast credits. Yes. That's what the um, show's about. I think that it might be a low A tier. I would I, say that. I like the cast credit. Like, thinking about it from, like, the previous ones, all of B tier, all of their cast credits aren't as good as B dino theories yeah now i don't know if it's above it might be above spd i don't know if it's above dino thunder oh you know what actually all of the things we complained about in dino charge we let slide so but they're not in dino fury so we move in dino charge to the back the i think dino fury goes above dino charge and then dino charge goes behind dino thunder yeah Okay, and we did it, bud. We did it. We have our tier list for all of the Power Ranger openings. The official ranking. This is, no yeah, this is the official dispute. ranking. <laughs> this is the visual effects artist approved <laughs> ranking. No of, other opinions valid. No, yeah, exactly. No, they are, there's just different criterias. Yeah. If you're a fan, you might think of it a little bit differently than we did, but we're going from like specifically a visual and slightly musical aspect of this yeah and i think it's a pretty fair list I yeah think. and i haven't let my opinions of the series right count because rpm is well down there yeah R r.i.p and like i feel like if we were going by like the series overall this list would com be completely different oh fucking lootly ninja steel would not be that high up yeah i mean like ninja steel would not be a mid-tier for sure <laughs> But yeah, I think I think this is a good list, guys. If you don't agree with us, let us know why in the comments. Uh, for real, because like I, I think we ordered this in the way that we like enjoyed them the most as well in each different category. So if you think one is better than the other, just let us know why in the comments. Here comes a mighty warrior. Mighty Rangers, rise. 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 Rise.